Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at ArcleTechsHomepage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Morris is with your Friday morning forecast update. It will be a little bit cooler to close out the week here as we'll have uh, cool temperatures this morning. We have the north breeze and slightly cool air behind yesterday's cold front. So our highs today will be in the 70s after many of us spent the past two days in the 80s here. But it will be uh, just wonderful about by about noon today in the upper 60s and then low 70s through the afternoon hours. And we'll continue to have that very low humidity thanks to a north breeze which has settled in behind the front so your morning temperature is similar to what we saw Monday and Tuesday of this week we've dropped into the 40s north of I-30 take a jacket with you there for sure uh, the rest of us in the mid 50s so that cool air is out there everywhere and the winds will be pretty light again today out of the north end turning to the northeast at about 5 to 10 miles per hour in your highs today a uh, good 5 to 10 degrees cooler than yesterday as we'll wind up at 74 for both Shreveport as well as Texarkana about 76 degrees today in Natchitoches and 72 in the Queen. So satellite radar, not a lot happening. We have high pressure building in behind this cold front. There is an additional cold front on the way this weekend. It may bring us some rain late tomorrow into Sunday. I'll show you that in a moment, but for your Friday, you see uh, just the all-day sunshine that we're expecting. If you are headed out to some of the high school football games tonight, make sure you do take a jacket, a blanket, uh, or what have you if you are sitting out there in the bleachers as it will be uh, fairly cool tonight as we'll have temperatures quickly drop through the 60s and may even be in the 50s for the fourth quarter of some of those games out there today. Taking a look at your lows, uh, again, 40s and 50s across the region tonight, so a pretty chilly night and a cool start to your Saturday morning. Saturday looks to be a pretty pleasant day. We uh, will see increasing clouds late in the day, and there's our next cold front trying to bring some rain in Saturday night into Sunday morning. So for a lot of us, this rain will fall overnight and have no impact on our Sunday, but if we do have any lingering showers on Sunday, it does look like it will be across the south end of the Arkletex, but I'll tell you right now, probably won't be enough rain to uh, ruin any of your outdoor plans, so you should be just fine on Sunday, and we'll enjoy the nice temperatures this weekend as well. Taking a look at the tropics, still watching two disturbances. One of those, uh, the area in yellow, given a low chance of formation here. That's the one we'll have to watch moving into next week, and there's the one in the uh, red here, which is uh, the lead disturbance, which does have a high chance of formation, and it looks like that will fizzle out. But that one behind it may actually just sit out here in the Gulf and spin next week. But the uh, cold fronts that we have on the way likely going to steer that away from the northern Gulf Coast. At least that's what the medium range uh, forecast models are telling us. So right now, still doesn't look like we would see any kind of impacts here in the Arkletex. Seven-day forecast sets up uh, pretty decent for us. We'll enjoy the temperatures in the mid to upper 70s this weekend and next Monday, and it looks like we are back into the low to mid 80s, probably Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week. Uh, humidity staying fairly low here, and we should see the overnight lows stay comfortable, and next week looking dry as well.